Hello, welcome to the Dream Then Travel webinar. My name is Yuriko Tokuda, Tourism Specialist of Pumperu in Canada. Um, the program of today's webinar will start with the presentation of Aldo Parodi, Senior Trade Commissioner of Pumperu in Canada, and I. Uh, we will give you information about different destinations in Peru. Then it will join us our guests. Uh, Maria Cristina Urquizo from Libertador Hotels from Peru, and Lisa Lau from Okushu Tours in Toronto. They will provide you with an overview of their services and the new health and safety policies to ensure your clients feel safe visiting Peru. If you have any questions during the presentation, please write them in the chat box and we will answer them at the end of the webinar. Well, thank you very much for joining the um this uh, this webinar uh, i am glad uh, that we are with uh, okushu uh, tour operator here in canada we also have a libertador hotels group from peru um, and uh, also our colleagues from from lima and of course yuriko who is our uh, tourism specialist here in in, in Canada. I am Aldo Parodi. I am the director of the uh, uh, Trade Commission office here in, in Canada. We have many ways to go to Peru from Canada. There is a direct flight from Toronto to Lima by Air Canada. There was a, a, a Montreal Lima, um, but uh, it was going to be to be cancelled in May. I don't know now how they are going to uh, reorganize their flights, but so far uh, we see that the, the Toronto Lima uh, is kept, but there are also other alternatives uh, with Copa Airlines, Latam, Navianca, Aeromexico, and we were also uh, um, in the way to uh, uh, to get a, a, a direct flight from Vancouver to Lima. This is also something that we will need to revisit once the uh, this uh, uh, pandemic is is over. But there are many options. Uh, another interesting thing is the, the 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 time is more or less the same. Actually, we are one hour uh, uh, on top of Peru, but in the rest of the year, is the same the same time. So um, Peru, because we have this uh, uh, natural diversity that I had, that I had told to you uh, before. When we mix that na uh, natural diversity with our cultural diversity, we find that in the last, I would say, 15, 20 years, the gastronomy in Peru has developed very well. So uh, now Peru, and especially Lima, that concentrates all the regional diversity for the gastronomy, uh, has become a gastronomic city. And there are trips exclusive to go to Peru and have uh, 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 dinners and, and lunch in the best restaurants uh, uh, in Lima. But also if you have the chance to go to the regions, each region uh, has their own, uh, their own gastronomy and also very well developed. So besides the, uh, all, all our food, we also have some drinks. You may know that our national uh, uh, drink is is pisco. Pisco is a is a distill from from grapes, and we do many many cocktails uh, uh, with that uh, with that alcohol. The pisco sour is well known. I don't know if you have tried maybe Ireland. Uh, it might be possible that the first potatoes came from Ireland because potatoes were used in Europe to um, uh, to help uh, uh, the hunger. Uh, in the Middle Ages, so that's possible that that for Canada the, the, the potatoes came from Ireland, but originally potatoes are from Peru. So Lima is the capital; it's around 10 million people, so it's a large city. Um, on the on the on, uh, you see the the Pacific Ocean just on, on the west side of the city. Um, it's a very uh, unique place where you find uh, ancient uh, sites uh, from from 1,000, 2,000 years old. You find also uh, um, 
constructions from the Spanish uh, colonies uh, when they were in Peru, and also all the modern constructions that you see uh, in this in this picture. Our climate is is very mild. I will say in, in in summer times, sometimes you get 30, 31 degrees. It's rare, uh, and in winter times, sometimes you get to 12 degrees Celsius. Uh, which here is, I think, uh, is is, uh, is is almost summer, uh, but it's a humid city. So uh, when you feel 12 or 13 degrees Celsius with 90 or 90, 95 percent humidity, yes, yes, you 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 feel some some cold. But it's a sea sea level, mild temperature. You it doesn't rain in Lima. It's very rare that it rains in Lima, once every four years maybe. Uh, but it, but it's a city where so you can do many sports uh, outside uh, in Lima. You can run. From, is, when I visit Lima, uh, where I try is to run in for all all over these places, is very beautiful. This is the the downtown in Lima, as you see, very very uh, typical from Spanish uh, constructions, very traditional. Is there where where the uh, the town hall is located. In fact, you see that in the right of the of the screen. That's the uh, that's the uh, the city hall. And uh, if you go like uh, 45 degrees more to the right, it will be the government uh, the government hall there. So I recommend uh, uh, visit the downtown. Um, uh, it's very nice. There are museums um, and and typical uh, construction from the Spanish uh, Republican times. Uh, Lima also, I will say, is a center of, uh, uh, of the cultural background in Peru. Many museums are there um, uh, that you, you may visit. Different quarters in Peru is like, in, in the picture in the uh, in the top right is is Barranco. It's a very bohem uh, place in, in Peru where you can go have a dinner, have some drinks. Um, many places where you, there are some some bands for traditional music, but also rock bands. So it's a very unique place to go in Peru with a very beautiful view to the Pacific Ocean too. So as I said. I, I used to to run in in this place. Uh, I don't bike, but I run. Uh, so you can see from there all the uh, all the uh, the Bay of Lima uh, and practice different sports. So it's a uh, Lima is very open place. Uh, you there is there is no uh, there is a small financial downtown in San Isidro, but the rest of Lima is quite uh, quite open. So. And that's good, especially in these in these times. So, traveling a little bit more uh, more in, into our origins, we go to Cusco. Uh, it takes around one years. Of course, Cusco is the center of the. Uh, it was the capital of the uh, uh, Incas. You will find in this city uh, very interesting. Um, constructions where the base are Incas bases and the rest are Spanish constructions. It's quite impressive. Um, there are some festivities uh, that are, are held in Cusco. This one is the Inti Raimi. It's in, on June the 24th. Um, it's a festivity that, that takes for, for many, many, many centuries and is held inside Sawamang, which is an archaeological site just on top of, of Cusco city. Um, there are other places to go around Cusco. What many, many tour operators uh, may recommend is, is that start your journey in Cusco, not in Cusco city, but in the valley, because valley is around 23 or 25, 100 meters in altitude. So you will feel more, com more comfortable the first days. So I, I will also recommend to this beautiful, uh, uh, Inca City, uh, Machu Picchu. Every time I go there, I really feel um, uh, special energy in this in this uh, in this place. Uh, if you have the time, uh, I will recommend to take the Inca Trail. Uh, you can take one day, two days, three days, four days Inca Trail. You will find another archaeological sites 
um, in the way to Machu Picchu, um, uh, which, which are also very beautiful to visit. So Machu Picchu is around also the same altitude than, than the valley, 2300, 2500 meters in altitude, uh, very close to the uh, Amazonian rainforest, that is why it's so green. Mm -hmm. So it's a very beautiful uh, place to go. It's a must, of course. There are different options uh, uh, to travel to, to Cusco. There are some luxury trains with different options too. Um, uh, very comfortable. Um, this is another another archaeological site. It looks like Machu Picchu, right? But it's not. It's called Choquequirao. Um, it's a site that has been discovered recently. Uh, um, around 30% of what is dead has been already put in, in, in exhibition. As you see, there are a lot of vegetations uh, around this place. Actually, I will say it's quite an adventure to get there because you need to walk like three days. Uh, there is not a road uh, just close to the, to, the, to the site as Machu Picchu. Uh, so uh, it's quite an adventure. So if you have if you have people that like to to go trekking, it's a mix of trekking and and also uh, a culture journey visiting Chukakirao. I've not been there yet. It's one of my bucket list. So if you like adventure, if you like to sleep uh, in these cabins, well, uh, that <laughs> I don't know if I I will I will do that. But uh, you have all there. You there are you you get the food. There are toilets inside, so it's a very uh, unique experience in this in this hotel, also in the in the second valley in Cusco. Another city which is very interesting to have in your bucket list is Puno. Uh, Puno is a city uh, which is just beside the Titicaca Lake. Uh, this city is almost uh, 38, 3900 meters in altitude. So it's strongly recommend that, that you go first to other cities a little bit below. So you go to Cusco, then you go to Puno. Try not to go direct to Puno because the impact from zero, from sea level to Puno is, is hard. I did it once and, uh, and, and the first day you need you really need to rest uh, because uh, the lack of oxygen is quite uh, quite big. But uh, this Titicaca Lake uh, has many many places to visit. The Uros Island, which is very close to the city, um, the sky is, is almost and always blue. Um, you go to the Takili Islands, where 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 people you you may stay there and have some some experience with the habitants in in, in Takili Island. Uh, they can teach you how to cook, uh, how to do uh, other other things in, in there. So now I want I want uh, Yuriko to continue the representation. She will she will uh, uh, explain some open spaces uh, uh, alternative we have uh, in your next uh, trip to Peru. Hello again. Uh, as you can see, Peru is a destination to any type of traveler, whether they're backpackers or a luxury client. There's always something for them natural destinations, archaeology, and adventure activities. I will show you uh, another amazing destination that Peru has to offer, like the Amazon River. It's the lo world's longest river uh, in the world, and it's located in Loreto, up north of Peru. It's a tropical rainforest home to a rich flora and fauna, which includes pink dolphins that are only found in these waters. And also we can find more than 2,000 species of fish. In addition to being a refuge for biodiversity, the Peruvian rainforest is home to indigenous Amazonian communities that have their own identity, language, and customs. Uh, here we can also find luxury cruises, which gives the traveler a totally different experience in the Amazon River. 
now we go to Manu National Park. Uh, it's located in Puerto Maldonado. It is a natural heritage site by UNESCO and one of the most important protected natural areas in the country. It is a great place to do bird watching uh, because here we can find more than 800 species of birds, 200 species also of mammals, and more than a thousand types of butterflies. Uh, the National Manu National Park has more than 4.2 million acres, so it's a perfect destination for travelers to connect with nature. Our next destination uh, is Cuela which is a fortress situated at the top of a mountain. And it was built at 3,000 meters above sea level around 700 years ago by the Chachapoyas, which were Peru's major pre-Hispanic culture. Uh, the fortress consists of 20 meter high stone walls that surround up to 400 buildings. Cuela can be reached in 20 minutes in a modern cable car uh, but for the more adventurous travelers, the world will be irresistible for sure. Then we have near uh, Cuelap, we can find Gokta Falls. These stunning falls are one of the largest of the planet with more than 700 meters of high. To enjoy the natural pool formed by this waterfall, the visitors must walk through the forest for three hours. Uh, while they're doing the, the walking, they can find about a hundred, more than a hundred species of birds and mammals. And now we go to Ica. Ica is um, in a short four hour drive from Lima. Your clients can visit Ica. Here the traveler can do sunboarding on the vast dunes and they could visit the Huacachina Oasis and enjoy the lake on a relaxing boat ride. Two hours from Inca, visitors uh, can have a unique experience flying on top of the mysterious Nazca Lines. Um, they were declared a, whole, a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The designs range from shades of monkeys, fish, birds, and other animals, as well as uh, trees and flowers. These figures measure up to 300 meters in length. And our last destination is Ancash. This stunning mountain range is home to the highest mountain in Peru, Mount Huascaran, uh, with 6,700 6, meters of height. The Huascaran National Park protects hundreds of species of flora and fauna. It's excellent for expeditions and trekking, uh, and it's covered with turquoise lakes, as you can see. And here, uh, this is the last destination, but as you can see, Peru has many attractions with wide open spaces where your clients can enjoy a unique experience and recharge their energy through their many wonders. Uh, before I end my presentation, I wanted to mention that from Peru has um, the Peru Agent Sales Program. Uh, in this platform, you can find updated information and resources, as well as sales tips that will help you to increase your sales. And when you finish the program, you get a certification uh, at the end. Thank you. Now, uh, it's... Uh, Maria Cristina Stra for her presentation. Super. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Yuriko. First of all, good afternoon to everyone. I want to thank uh, from Peru Canada, Aldo and Yuriko for organizing this webinar and for inviting us in order to work together and um, uh, to talk a little bit about our properties. Also, thank you, uh, Okushu, Lisa, for letting us be part of this webinar. And thank you to all of you that are our audience. Okay, let's talk about Libertador. Um, first of all, I will start with a quick brief about our company. Uh, Libertador is a, a hotel chain based in Peru and 100% Peruvian capital. We are owned by Breca Group, which is a business conglomerate that began in Peru and has more than 100 years of existence. 
Breca also owns here in our country uh, mining companies, fishing companies, among other businesses. So being owned by Breca gives us the economics, the economic solvency and has, has uh, helped us to go through this pandemic. Also, Libertador uh, works in partnership with Marriott, with whom we work as a franchise. Marriott gives us the best hospitality guidance, and especially nowadays that um, they give us our uh, main guides to work on the protocols and special processes that I will tell you a little bit more in my presentation. So um, I will go to the next slide. Among all the brands that Marriott has in the world, um, Libertador uh, works with this with this brand, the Westin, A Loft, AC, and the Luxury Collection. The Luxury Collection, maybe uh, you haven't heard, but it's a brand which um, selects different very uh, unique properties, and they are basically uh, luxury hotels. If we go to the map of Peru, um, in Lima we have three hotels: we have Westin. We have a loft and we have AC. Then in Paracas, that is located in Ica, as Yuriko talked a uh, few slides ago. Uh, it's our hotel resort, but uh, Paracas luxury collection. And then in Cusco, we have two hotels. One in Cusco City, which is Palacio del Inca. And then in the Sacred Valley, we have Tambo del Inca. So let's go quickly go through each of our properties. First of all, uh, sorry. Let's talk about first about about Westin, uh, because it's one of the prices that we will um, we will sort at the end of the presentation. Westin is a stunning, beautiful hotel located in San Isidro. Uh, this year, actually, Westin won as the best Westin in the world, uh, according to our guests. Uh, basically, Marriott sends. Uh, a survey at the end of each of each day and asks about uh, service, rooms, uh, breakfast, everything. So I'm very proud to tell you that Westing uh, Lima was selected as the best Westing of the world, being the fifth uh, year consecutive that we win this prize. Uh, it is a very complete hotel. It has uh, the largest spa in Latin America. It, it has great restaurants and the rooms are very spacious. So whoever wins the prize will be very well treated in the Westin. Then let's go to Aloft. Aloft uh, as a brand has basically uh, three important things, technology, modern design, and location. Talking about technology, uh, our hotel works with optical fiber, which is uh, the fastest uh, Wi-Fi in the world. Thanks to this, we offer um, Netflix and completely uh, free paper rooms. So all the information about the hotel is are on the TV. Then talking about modern design, I love is a hotel where you enter and you feel free. You feel um, comfortable. Basically, it is very different from standard four-star hotels where you feel like you have to go dressed on certain outfits. This hotel allows you to feel comfortable. And finally, the location of a loved Lima Miraflores is in the corner of two main streets, which makes it close to Larcomar, which is a main mall in Miraflores, and to the Kennedy Park. One special thing about a love is that it offer, offers these special uh, camps. It's called Camp by a Loft. Uh, it's free of charge, and basically, it is. Uh, we arranged this little camp for kids, which is great for for families that travel together. Um, it's it's free for kids up to eight years old. So basically, uh, it has different themes. You have Nickelodeon, Dragon Ball, and different kinds of of animated anim, animated things. And let's go to the AC uh, Hotel in Lima Miraflores. AC is one of the newest brands that Marriott has. Um, this brand started in Spain as a hotel chain in Spain called Antonio Catalan. When Marriott bought it, they decided to 
make an easier name. So that's how uh, AC was born. Then we took it to Latin America and that's how uh, we have AC Hotel in Lima Miraflores. This hotel, AC Lima Miraflores, has a magnificent location. You remember when Aldo was talking about the Miraflores Bay where he likes to run? This hotel is right in front of the Miraflores Bay. So the hotel has 150 rooms and half of it, so 75 rooms, have city view that have, has a view of Miraflores and Lima. And the other half of the rooms are ocean view. And this, this is the view of all the rooms. This is probably the best view that you can have in any hotel in Lima. As we say, it is a cruise ship view. You only see the Pacific Ocean and the sky. Then we move on to Cusco. We go to the Secret Valley where we have our beautiful and stunning hotel, Tambo del Inca. As I said, this is a stunning lo uh, hotel located in the Secret Valley. This hotel has been recognized from many luxury magazines and travel advisors as one of the best hotels in Latin America. The rooms are actually very spacious. They have 45 uh, square meters. The first time I went to this hotel, I thought I had an upgrade to a suite, but it was actually just a regular room. Inside the hotel, it has a really big pool, a spa with water circuits. It also has uh, its own private train station that allows the guests to go from the hotel directly to Machu Picchu. This hotel is great uh, for its big spaces. I'll go to the next slide. Because um, uh, we have, for example, our own orchard, where you can see in the slide. This orchard provides fresh vegetables and fruit that are used for our main restaurants in this hotel and the hotel that we have in Cusco. But apart from this, this orchard um, makes us create different experiences. For example, this one, the one that we see on the picture. Guests can have a mini tour throughout uh, the orchard where the, we show them what we harvest and then we, we invite them to sit in this beautiful setup that has view to the mountains from one side and from the other side a view to the river. I think these kind of experiences will be great uh, for the new normal uh, nowadays that uh, free spaces have taken a very special important part of the tours. So Tambo del Inca offers not only this experience, but among many other experiences that include free spaces um, journeys. Then let's move on to Cusco. Um, in Cusco, we have a beautiful hotel called Palacio del Inca. This hotel is actually very special because uh, the property itself has, it's nominated as a cultural heritage of humanity by the UNESCO, which is the United Nations uh, Educational, Scientist and Cultural Organization. Um, inside this building, there is a very rich history. Uh, we call it a museum hotel. Inside, we have more than 200 art pieces, all original from the art, from the, sorry, from the School of Art from Cusco. Actually, uh, our hotel provides a free tour to all our guests in order to tell them all about the history of this hotel. And it ends with an Inca representation and Pisco Sour lessons. As, as Aldo mentioned, Pisco Sour is, is one of our signature drinks. And of course, at the end of the lessons, the guests are invited to, to taste this Pisco Sour. Um, in the hotel, we also offer different kind of experiences as we do in, in Tambo del Inca. One of it is the one that you're seeing in the picture that is called the cheese and wine experience. Actually, uh, Palacio del Inca is the only hotel in Cusco that has its own master sommelier. And uh, we have our own cheese cellar, if, if that's correct uh, uh, translation. Uh, so basically we offer this experience where he guides you and he invites you different type of cheeses and wines. It's great. 
Among this experience, we offer many, many other experiences and staying in this hotel, I think is, is a very special thing in order to understand most of the history of Cusco. Okay. Finally, our last hotel uh, located in Paracas. Um, in Paracas, basically, we found a very special uh, mix. We found desert plus beach. That's how I can describe Paracas. In Paracas, you find uh, very different type of hotels, but Hotel Paracas Resort, the luxury collection, is actually considered as the, as the biggest and most, most luxurious hotel uh, in Paracas. This hotel uh, basically has two main pools, one pool for adults and one pool for families. It also uh, offers different free activities like paddle, kayak, or boat, boat uh, rides. It has a direct access to the beach and it has its own dock. Um, by the end of the dock, actually, we have a beautiful seafood restaurant. Um, and then inside the hotel, we also have our main restaurant. The hotel has kids club uh, that has Nintendo Wii and different activities for uh, for children, and of course, it offer uh, it offers a large um, uh, list of experiences. One of the experiences that I love, and that's why I put this picture, is the experience a uh, picnic at the desert. Basically, uh, we take the guest with a four by four car throughout the dunes of Paracas, and it ends uh, almost by sunset in this picnic um, in the middle of the desert where you can have drinks and food and have this beautiful view uh, to the moon and to the stars. So these are uh, all our properties. As you can see, basically the luxury collection offer a big variety of experiences. Um, and then our three hotels in Lima each on each category offer a different also experience to the guest. Now I will speak about something that is very important uh, nowadays, which is our uh, hygiene uh, processes and protocols. Our manuals nowadays are more than 150 pages, but I have made a summary in two slides so uh, you can understand a little bit of what's our our vision on this matter. Before the pandemic, uh, we used to have, well, we also have now, basically a different certification that uh, support our, our uh, manufacturing practices. These certification are basically three. The SQ, SQF, Safe Quality Food, HACCP, Hazard An Analysis and Critical uh, Control Points, and BPM. Uh, well, in Spanish is uh, Buenas Prácticas de Manufactura, in English is Good Manufacturing Practices. All our protocols are based on international standards developed by the Global Food, food Safety of Marriott International. On top of it, it is Libertador and our owners, uh, Breca Group, that we have all these certificates. Said this, uh, with with the basis that we used to work. Nowadays, we created the protocols with four important pillars. Uh, the most important thing for us was to protect our, our employees. Because as you know, nowadays we have three hotels uh, operating in Lima, uh, Westin, Aloft, and AC. We are operating basically these three hotels in order to support our government. Uh, hosting um, Peruvians that have traveled that were on, on another country and they have to do a 14 days quarantine. During these days, I am proud to tell you that we have zero cases uh, of COVID-19 in our employees, even when having guessed that they were positive in COVID-19. So this talks very highly about the protocols that I will tell you now. So I, I told you, the first thing, important thing for us were, was to protect our employees. And we protected them by four important pillars. First, constant training. Second, safety and hygiene that has to be with uh, all the equipment. Third, 
to control their health, and fourth, to bring sustained support. All of this has made uh, us actually the best hotel chain and the best prepared hotel chain in Peru for this pandemic. The government has uh, congratulated us because of this protocol and these processes. And even we have participated with the global, uh, with the World Travel and Tourism Council to help them to make a global protocols for the new normal. So said this, uh, this is it for my presentation. I, I hope you, you liked our properties. Now you know how we're working uh, on the protocols and uh, I hope to see you soon uh, in our country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eurico, Aldo, and Maria. What an insightful information to share. Hello, fellow travel industry colleagues. My name is Lisa Lau. I'm the Managing Director of Okushu Tours. Thank you in advance for your time listening to this webinar. This is the first webinar I do with Prom Peru. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to be here today. And I hope that this will become the first of many webinars to come, especially prepare for travel professionals like you. This is the first, uh, these are the first topic that I'm going to cover today. If you come across with any questions, please feel free to ask at any time um, and also put in the, uh, we will try to answer it at the end of uh, the section. If you have never heard of Okushu Tours before, we are a niche small group tour operator and destination specialist. We operate regular scheduled departures to a select few destinations. We are a Tickle licensed wholesaler based in Toronto, members of Actor and part of Canada chapter. Even though the company is quite new to the market, our 10 members have been in the travel industry for over 20 years. We believe that our years of experience in the industry, which are we and vendor to translate into Okushu experience to your clients. Our passion is to share some of our world best cultures, destinations, and experiences with you and your clients. You probably come across of a hundred pages brochures of some other tour operator companies which offering trips to over 120 countries. For mm -hmm. us, we are not trying to sell you the whole world. We are very focused on to what we are selling best. Again, we are small, specialized, and we know what we know best. Here are the eight wonderful destinations that we go. There are six to Asia, one to South Africa, and Peru is one of the highlighted destinations. Why are these eight destinations? We are so passionate about them. And the most important is that we have amazing local contacts on the ground of the destinations so that we can ensure that your clients can get the best experiences and services. This is another reason I'm thrilled to share with you about our Peru program. Our Peru program is an 11 days and 10 nights tour. Your clients will have first arrive in Lima and stay there for two nights. Then two nights in Sacred Valley, one night in Machu Picchu, three nights in Cusco, and two nights in Puno. Price includes airport transfer, transportation, hotel accommodation, 15 meals, domestic flights, private transportation, English speaking guide services throughout, Price is at 3,998 based on double occupancy. This is our core program. Clients can feel free to join any pre and post to extension and will be on the FIT basis. You can request at any budget, duration, however your clients taste and want. For example, if your clients like to extend the vacation to Amazon region, or want to stay few nights at one of the finest hotels that Libertado Hotel Chain offer, our colleagues are happy to provide quotation for your client's consideration. If your clients do not have any idea about the extension, our team will provide relevant suggestions.
Here are some of the highlights of the tour. When your clients are in Lima, they will visit the Lima Old Town, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. On the same day, they will visit the local museum and the love park. These are the must-see in Lima. Then fly to Cusco and transfer to the Sacred Valley for two nights. In here, your clients can have a choice of activities, either visiting the archaeological site of Morade and Marcus Town to learn how to make traditional hats, or to visit the Chichinchero Town and partake in the textile workshop to learn how to do the traditional weaving techniques. Or they have the option to visit the Olenta Fortress and then shopping at the Piscat Market. Staying in two nights in Sacred Valley is the great way to acclimatizing to adjust the body to the high latitude. I have a little tips here. I have tried it before and it works. Drink lots of water, avoid alcohol, move, move your body slow and eat like a locals. They will then board on the scenic Viesta Dome train from Olenta to Aquas Calientes, consider the base of Machu Picchu. The train is built in with the panel van mill windows, so everyone can enjoy the 360 degree view scenic ride. After a night stay in the, uh, in the tour in Machu Picchu, your clients will go back to Cusco for three nights. They will, uh, besides the Cusco and city tour, your clients will also have the choice of activity at the, again. They can select either to experience the Adian music or participate in the cooking class. And if they feel like to ungroup themselves from the group, we will have a car and guide at disposal for them to take a look around of the Cusco cities on their own pace. Last, they will stay in Pruno for two nights. The highlights in Pruno will be getting to see the island's life of the Lake Titicaca. We always emphasize that Okushu tour small group difference. This is very important for us because this is how we differentiate ourselves from other many tour operators, which we also sell small group tours. Product-wise, we are not. We are proud to say that we are very unique and special product in the marketplace. This is a luxury. This is not a luxury product, but also this is not a budget product. The product is for the clients who are looking for the real local cultures, flexibility, authentic food, service-driven guided tours, local experiences, decent and comfortable hotels. Some companies say that they have a small group tours, but the group size is 21, 24, or even 30. Since day one, we are very strict to keep our group size by not more than 16 people. You won't find a crowded bus with us. We purposely keep our group small and personal for a better all-round experience because all activities will be very easy, will be really easily to be arranged. This is especially important nowadays because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Travelers might not want to get stuck with a big group of people, but at the same time, they don't want to spend a fortune to get all private tour. Coming up new fame slices, I'm going to go through the Okushu small group difference and concepts one by one, and how are these concepts make our Peru program unique. We are not rigid in set in our ways. If some awesome local events is happening nearby, we'll change things up to make sure it won't miss it. We were all about the best experiences. One good thing to keep our group small is that we can quickly switch things around so that your clients can experience the unexpected. I would say that Peru is a country of festivals. They have festival every month. This is where one of the pictures was taken in Cusco during the Inti Rami time, the Sun Festival, which just happens in June every year. This is a one of the samples that we will try to make opportunity for your clients to experience the festival like this. This festival is full of color, music, and food. Based on some of the market research, we find that travelers prefer to have the safety and companionships while traveling in a group led by a tour guide. But at the same time, they still prefer to have their own personal free time. 
you make space for your clients to enjoy one downtime, uh, sorry, some downtime, whether it is launching by the pool to catch some sun or doing some walking nearby area. Even though let them sleep in to have the breakfast on their bed. For us, as long as we need some structure of the school of vibration of the tour, we allow your clients some freedom to ungroup themselves and have some free time on their own. If you ask me what is my favorite free time of the Peru program, I would say after climbing the Machu Picchu, there's nothing better than pampering myself with spa treatments at the spa located at the top floor of the hotel that we are staying. And this spa will give us a panoramic view of the cloud flowers of the Machu Picchu. After that, maybe a drink of uh, the pizza sour. We understand that not everyone has the same interest and want to do things together. We split the group into three to three, uh, two to three subgroups. So let them choose what they want to experience. I have mentioned in the one of the trip highlights before, clients can learn weaving at the ADN Textile Center. This picture shows that a client is watching the demo. The choice of activities is more than a couple of set programs. If your clients feel like to explore the city on their own during the choice of activities time, let's say in Cusco, we will provide a private guard and guide at disposal to them so that they can go anywhere that where they want to go. But at the same time, they feel safe and being taken care of. Each tour has a number of included handpicked activities for your clients to choose from. The only hard part is which one they are going to go. I want to emphasize that these are not the optional tours. They are all included in the cost of the tour. We promise to give you a client a truly authentic experience of the country that they are visiting. From the local favors and food, instead of bringing them to the tourist group restaurant, we bring them to the restaurant where they can eat like a locals. Many elements of each tour and immersive where your clients are a participant and not a spectator. Those experiences create incredible memories to cherish over a lifetime. Some of them are, so, uh, are not so planted in advance so that our tour guides have been told and are trained it so that they are able to seek out of what is happening out there and able to offer your clients to participate, observe and have uh, some hands-on experience while then uh, on the tour. We have to say that this is something that might be out of our itinerary. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to mutually and rewarding partnership with you because we love working with you. We pay commission just like every tour wholesaler do, and we know that this is not enough. We try to ensure that there's no undercut in price anywhere possible. All the clients pay the same rate at the same group. We hope that we can help you to promote your brand too. When you have uh, six or more clients who join in one of our tour departures, we can actually close off the group and create a separate one just for you. You can put your agency name and local out there to promote it as your own group. We also customize, uh, make the group according to your client's requirements and provide all sorts of marketing assistance to help you in selling. We want you to be differentiated from other competitors if you believe in Okushu tour small group, small group concept and start selling us, this is also how you differentiate from your competitors and to create your own brand image. Imagine you walking into one of your competitor travel agency store right now. How many of them are displaying the exactly same kind of brochure that you have? Next time, if you come across of the clients who want to join some small group tours to Peru, for example, hand in one of those big brand brochures that at the same time to hand in our brochure and tell them, hey, this is another small group tour operated company called Okushu Tours. And they offer some unique products that you might be interested. Try to take a look. Your clients will for sure appreciate that you will differentiate something different. 
We also want your clients to be repeated customers to you and to us. We are very firm on protecting your own interests. For whatever the reason, if your clients who booked one of our trips based on your recommendation, and when they come back and want to book another tour directly with us, our database will show that these clients are from your agency and from you. And then we will refer these clients back to you. We are very firm on this. And this is our principle of how we're keeping our relationship with you, our mutually rewarding partnership. Peace of mind. You may, necessary, you, you may not necessarily to know all of these products and how to sell. We have destination specialists to assist you with any question that your client raise. We look after your client's file from your initial inquiry up to when they return home. We always put your clients and also our clients safety and healthy as a first priority. After the COVID pandemic, needless to say, we will continue to keep our low ratio passenger small group tour running. We proactively connect with our local partners and ensure that a new hygiene protocols are seriously achieved. For example, enhance regular cleaning and disinfecting procedures on both motor coaches and at the hotels. Hand sanitizer and gel are will be available at every vehicle. Masks and gloves are ready for the clients to use during the tour, advanced check-in at hotels, and in certain places, we manage to skip the lineups. We are also stayed upfront onto the technology. Clients are able to download an app prior to the trips, so this app will also provide everything at their fingertips. It becomes a when it's become a confirmed booking, your clients will receive an electronic document which can be interactive. Your clients can also download an app on their uh, on their phones or tablets so that this travel document can be on the go. From there, they are able to view things about their tours like day-by-day -day itinerary, hotel confirmation, emergency contacts, electronic ticket copies, and vouchers. The app also provides local information while they are on the tour, such as restaurants, shops, and attractions nearby, local emergency units like hotel, uh, uh, police station, and hospitals. We hope that your clients can stay in the know and allow them to connect with you and others so that they can feel safe and connected. As I mentioned before, we try to keep the price the same so every member pays equally. We do not offer those two in one price or last minute deal. However, clients can save through some of our year-round offer. If they fit into those offers criteria, they can save up to $300 per person. We also have the policy called never lost deposit. In the unforeseen, unforeseen circumstances that your client's travel plan change prior to the final payment date, your client's deposit can be transferred without any restriction to any further trips. This can also ensure that your effort in selling Okushu toll products will not be waste because this is protected for real already. Our broad colorful brochures are now available to order through our website, email, and phone in. And these are the ways that to connect with us. Our website is www.okushu.com. If you have reservation inquiry or had any question, please feel free to send us an email or call us. Our team is more than happy to assist you. We welcome you to visit our local media site, follow us and like us. We will also have a travel professional login site, which provides insider trade information, selling tips, special offers, and agent benefit news. This passport protector site will be ready soon, so please sign up and stay tuned with us. So this is the end of my slide. Thank you very much for taking your valuable time to listen to my presentation. I hope that I have, you have some idea about the Okushu tours and the amazing Peru program that we are offering. My team and I look forward to serving you and welcoming your clients to one of our amazing tours in the near future. Hope everyone stay safe and have a great day. Thank you. I do have a couple of questions for you. Uh, so they're asking how much 
is the commission percentage on your tours and the price also in USD. The commission we paid at the 10% and then uh, we try to treat every agency equally. So even though um, sometimes we know that like in the industry, like uh, there was few uh, different tier price uh, commissions to give it to the uh, larger agency, for example, like a uh, uh, more bigger brand will have a more commission and this, uh, the small agency will have a smaller commission. And for us, we treat everybody equal so that we will have 10% for everyone. And then in terms of the USD, and then we will base on the Canadian dollars to do the exchange according to the, uh, the exchange rate at the, mo uh, at the time of the quotation. So right now the price is um, Canadian dollars, 3,998 per person based on double occupancy. But so that you can just simply convert it into USD at time of uh, you initiate put your deposit. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I wanted just to thank everyone for attending and thank you so much and stay safe.